Hello, my name is Justin Braddock. This is another episode of Justin's Epic Amazing Reviews. Now, this episode is more of a surprise to me than it is to you because I don't know what's actually going to be in this box. This is the fourth time I've had a modem sent to me from CenturyLink, and I'm hoping this is the right modem. We're going to see. So, I was on the phone with them, the customer support, for quite a long time, um, and many, many different times each time. I had to call like four times to get through and get something to actually happen each time I called. Um, here we go. So, uh, we'll take some pictures. Why not? Let's just take some pictures like we're doing a regular review video here. Get this out of the way. Okay. Because, uh, the thing is, like I said, I don't know what's going to be in here. I know it's supposed to be in here. But they told me it would be in here, but I've already got a bunch of boxes that didn't have it. Here we go! Thank God! Okay. Lord Jesus Christ, thank you. Okay, so here it is. And, uh, you know what? I'm not going to complain. I'm going to tell you what this is. This is not what I ordered. But I'm but I'm happy with it, and I'm going to tell you why. <laughs> as long as this isn't a rental. Um, let's see. Oh, goodness. I can't believe they did that, but that's okay. As long as it's... We're back to square one again, basically. Uh, I'll explain. So, uh, it says, new router. Thank goodness. Okay, so it's brand new. It's not refurbished. Okay, so let me tell you what modem this was supposed to be, and then I will tell you what it is and why I'm happy with what it is. Okay. Um, I mean, I, I am disappointed that they didn't send me what I asked for, but I will tell you why. This will work. Okay, so I'm just checking some things here. We got our installation guide. We better take some pictures before we do anything else. Okay, so this is a C uh, 1100Z uh, CenturyLink modem. I believe it's made by um, it's made by the same company. The other one, is, oh Zytel, Z Y X E L. Okay, and uh, so, anyways, let's get some pictures of this before I go any further and I'm going to explain why this is better than the one I have. Okay, so I'm going to take this to the right side. It's got my security information on it, so turn it around like this. Try to make sure that stuff stays out of the camera view. Alright. Now we'll turn it upside down so you guys can't see the important stuff. Okay. So here it is in all of its lovely glory with all this lovely ventilation on it. That's the important thing right there. Okay, I'll turn it around, put my hand over the cover here. Okay, and then we've got five WAN LAN ports. Uh, this either all LAN technically. The USB reset of power, phone DSL, all this. And I've so far I've never had a problem with one of these modems. Okay, that's why I'm happy and. Um, this is supposed to be an action tech. It's supposed to be a whole different modem. Let me tell you what modem it's supposed to be. I have it written down here on one of my bills. It's supposed to be a C1000A action tech modem. That's what this is supposed to be. And this, I guess this is the equivalent to it. I'm not sure. But um, basically, the old modem, the one that's plugged in right now that I'm going to be replacing this with, um, it has no vents on the side. It has some vents on the top. It has a tiny little hole in the bottom, which this one has no ventilation in the bottom whatsoever, but that's okay. And um, so it would just overheat and die. It would overheat and it would quit working, and I was confused. And, and on the back side where you mount it, it also has the ventilation here. And what's nice, I'm going to try to look through it with the light a little bit here, because you're not supposed to open these, you avoid the warranty. Ah, okay, what's nice about these is that if I wanted to, without avoiding the warranty, I should be able... To uh, super glue, I'm not sorry. Super glue would be bad. Never mind. Wrong. Okay. Uh, hot melt glue, a uh, you know 120 millimeter or smaller fan to this thing on here, and uh, plug it in and keep the modem cool. Now it looks like this side is the side with the components, and the other side that has the sticker is the bottom side, which doesn't have a lot of components on it. It's just it's the bottom side of the circuit board. Um, so this is the side that needs to be cooled, and seeing how it has ventilation in the top, it'd probably be smartest to put the fan at the bottom and have it blow in and have this thing up on its side. Or if you're going to lay it down, 
Um, you know, I guess you could just put the fan anywhere here. And I don't know if you'd want to, you probably want to suck it and have the air coming up. Um, I'm guessing if you got it down like this. Um, but anyway, okay, so the story of how I knew about this modem. Well, this is the first modem they sent me. Now, that would, that would make this the fifth modem, technically. So, when the guy showed up from the phone company, from the internet company, this is the modem that he handed me. But, this was a rental. They were going to rent me this modem. It was not mine to keep. It was not new. And it was supposed to be my modem. It wasn't supposed to be a rental. So, I knew, I had a hunch that when I sent this back to CenturyLink, they were going to send me a bad modem in return for me to own. And that's exactly what they did. They sent me... Watching the other video, you'll see it. It's the uh, it's the C uh, one thousand one hundred T modem. This is the C one hundred or one thousand one hundred Z, and the other one was the C one thousand one hundred T. And I did a whole review video on that one, okay, where it showed up and we talked about it. And, and it see, I was I was expecting to open this something like this, and the other one came. Anyway. So, this one, I've never had problems with, even in the summertime, um, as far as heat and all of that kind of thing. So, there it is. Let's go ahead and do the complete... Ooh, don't want to show that on camera. Let's see, can you see that in the camera? I, maybe, I don't know. Um, I'm going to hide this. Important information here. Okay, and uh, I guess I'll have to blur that stuff out if it makes it into the video. Um, got a power cable here. Power deal, and we've got the, uh, the phone cord and the internet cord, which technically I don't need. I can send those back and leave the ones plugged in that are plugged in. So, because I have to send the old modem back anyway, and I've got the box to do that over here that it came in. So that's what I'm going to do. And I got my nice shipping label over there to send it all back in, which is all nice because then I don't have to don't have to worry about it. Just you know. So hopefully this one should be easy to set up. It, it's usually these CenturyLink modems, they, they have embedded software that makes it extremely easy as long as you know the phone number on your bill. As long as you have that information, everything else is easy. Okay, super. So, all right. I apologize if this seems shaky to you or something because I'm just holding the camera, but um, Basically, this is the old modem that I'm sending back, just so you can see, and I'm going to show you a comparison of how big it is compared to the new modem. Um, and I'm also going to show you what I was using. This is what I was using to cool the old modem. But So basically, this modem here, I had to put it on this cooling pad like this so that the air would go up through the bottom of it from the, the fan there. That's what I've had to do to make my internet work, because otherwise the modem would just shut off. And it would anyway if it got too hot, you know, past that. But I had to have that on all the time. So now... I can use this on my laptop, which is nice. And I've lubricated these fans with the Petro 90, so I don't have to worry about them not working. Um, okay, and then, to use it enough with the modem that they've made noise. Okay, so here's the new modem and the old modem side by side. The new modem is being used, but this is the size of it compared to the old modem. So, just a size comparison for you. Now, I did do a speed test, and... I don't know if it's the modem that's different or what's different, but it is slower than it has been in previous days. Now, a lot of people are calling CenturyLink right now. Got a lot of high volume calls because there's a lot of problems with the customers having problems with CenturyLink. Um, and I was having problems with the old modem with speeds today as well. Same problem. So I don't think the modem switch is what did it. I think I was already having uh, speed problems. So I'm going to close this box, tape it shut, and mail it back to CenturyLink. Now I did have one more complication with the new modem. Um, when you plug in a modem to uh, CenturyLink, it's supposed to, when you plug into your computer or your handheld device or whatever, it's supposed to automatically sync up with um, CenturyLink and just ask you to put in the phone number on your account even if you don't have a phone and then it's supposed to work. Well, this modem didn't do that. The first I've received, like I said, this model was the first one I received from them, and then they took it away uh, when they sold one to me because they accidentally sent me a rental. Um, but anyway, and then here's the directions. Thank goodness it's a new one. Um, here's the directions they sent to do this, and they didn't work. I mean, because I had to call CenturyLink to get the 
PPP username and password for everything. I uh, changed everything around. It should be working with my network just like before. Um, anyway, what do they want? Oh, number SSID. They want you to write down all your stuff there. One of the nice things CenturyLink does is they give you all the information for your modem um, on a little card that comes with the modem. And you can stick it wherever you want. So there's one on the side of your modem and then there's that. So I just stick that to a little card that I have handy um, in a secure place. So that if I need the information for some reason to get into my modem, the you know temporary password where they send with the modem or whatever like that, um, I have a way to get to the stuff. So like if I reset the modem or something, I'd have the information. So now all I gotta do, tape this shut, send it back, which is nice. So, uh, and we'll show you the modem in use really quick. Why not? Let's go ahead and um, I'm not going to show you from the side where you can see all of the stuff, but there's the fancy CenturyLink modem light there. And if we can get it to focus, 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 right? Sorry, I probably shouldn't have said hocus pocus because that's somebody now is going to say I'm part of the Illuminati or something. Um, anyway, come on, focus for me. No, it's not going to. Anyways, there's the modem with all its lights that need to be lit up, lit up, and that sort of thing. Um, so that's great. And uh, anyway, so there we go. Thanks for watching the video. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. May Jesus bless you. Please click the links in the description of the video.